Hi, everyone. This is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to a timeless collective love reading. This is for any sign if you found this reading and also any sign of the person that you may be thinking of. Please use any of my readings to help you on a daily basis to help you to manifest. Think about the kind of love that you want to attract into your life or to confirm a love that's come into your life. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. I'm so grateful that you've been guided here. Spirit, please share with me any loving messages. What is it that you have for us? What is it that you need me to hear? I am listening for you now. I have an eternal commitment. Beautiful. Commit to each other with a love that lasts forever. This eternal commitment is a promise to support, cherish, and grow together, no matter what challenges arise. Absolutely. The person that you want to go through anything with, that uh, no matter what we face, we'll, we'll handle it. We'll go through it together. We will figure things out, challenges, good times and bad. So it, it is always that feeling of, I just know you're going to stay by my side. How beautiful. Spirit, please share with me. I have loves trust, trust in the strength and resilience of our, of your love. This trust creates a solid foundation for your relationship, allowing it to weather any storm and grow stronger over time. So they are definitely starting to share with you, even between these two cards, that we have somebody that's coming into our life that we can travel this journey with and we can trust that they'll stay by our side and that we will continue to get through stor storms, obstacles, challenges, um, because life is hard, Spirit just said, and we want to have a partner. So this is a life partner that they're sharing with you and they're recognizing that it's not just all a fairy tale. It is uh, difficult days as well. I have a divine love. Your love is divinely guided and supported by the universe. Trust in the divine connection and allow it to lead you to a higher understanding of love and partnership. So we want this divine love. We definitely want this, this soul connection. I love when we feel that it feels like it was divinely sent, like this is way bigger than both of us. So let's see what your cards are saying today. Your energy is beautiful. It is a trusting love, and we want to see what it is that spirit has for you. Spirit, please share with me. Let's see. I have a Knight of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, and I have a Chariot. So here is the struggle. Here is the, it's not always as easy as it seems. And I think everybody gets a turn at difficult days and difficult years. I don't know anybody who's gotten away with not having family illnesses or very difficult situations, financial issues. So everybody gets a turn at difficult days, but we move forward with this chariot and this person is going to give you a sense of security as well that we can get through anything but i also i always love these two little turkeys down here i don't know they make me laugh so i i like this feeling of we can get through anything and i feel secure with you so if i feel secure with you absolutely I want to move forward. I, I just want to see where this goes. And I want to move forward with passion. I want to move forward with um, spirit just said, giving you my heart or like I give you my heart. Um, so somebody who is ready to commit at least emotionally. So this is coming into me as very emotional that you have no doubt in your mind this person's going to love you. Spirit, please share with me. I have a two of pentacles. I have a sun. And I have a king of swords. So you can see this, this person, it's coming into me as I want this. I'm choosing this. I'm choosing to start this 
journey with you. And I, I always love this card, right? This particular deck um, is a Christmas deck, but it says Happy New Year. So heading into the new year, the new year baby, <laughs> you can see the new year baby. Uh, but it's a decision is made. And this feeling of going back and forth, there could have been, do I want, am I ready for this? Is this the person I want to be with? Is this somebody that I want to take it to the next level? But a decision is made is how it's coming into me. So I feel like this person is stepping to the plate. I'm going to say it that way, that stepping to the plate that I want to move this thing forward. And even if we have an obstacle, I feel like there could be an obstacle in our way. There could be a challenge for us to be together. Nothing we can't overcome. It's just, I feel like life, but I feel like we have a solution and we have a plan and this person's going to get us through it. I have a three of pentacles. I have a queen of swords. We're going to work together. This, this is very much, we make an amazing team. We, there's something about, yeah, we are feeling the love. It's overflowing. Look at the chocolate. Um, it's a hot cocoa overflowing in the cup. I love that. So it, it's a feeling of this love is overflowing. And then at the same time, we're recognizing that we make a great team and Teamwork comes in a lot of different ways. A lot of couples like to work together. They like to collaborate with um, projects. They like to create projects and do them together. There's a sense of maintaining um, a certain lifestyle or a home together and there's chores divided, but we make a great team is, is really how it's coming in. And this love is overflowing. So, there's nothing, nothing wrong with an overflowing love. There's nothing wrong with, I want to say gushing, um, you know, the person who's kind of, um, I don't know. I don't want to say love bombing because love bombing always makes it feel like that they're coming on too strong, but it is a little bit of a gushing feeling to me that they are constantly telling you how important you are to them or how much they love you or, um, how happy you make them. So it is a little bit of a, um, I guess this person's not going to hold back. This isn't somebody who's holding back. Let's say it that, you know, this person is overflowing with love. I have moving on. My heart has been moving on. Okay. So we're starting a new beginning and that's okay because this Knight of Wands was my first card that came in. So this knight could have taken action with, I deserve more, I want more, and I want to find love. So did they leave somebody? Did they end something to be in this connection? Probably. But it is a feeling of maybe if I hadn't moved on, I wouldn't meet, be meeting you now. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it that way as well staying right here. Look at the rings. Okay. So we could have a commitment. We could have a commitment. Like, I don't want to be, I don't want to be with anybody else. I really, I really am feeling that this is, this is something long-term. This is, this is the one and I can feel it. And I'm, I'm happy that I've met somebody, but this is a feeling of I'm not going anywhere, uh, which I think it, a lot of people need to feel. I think any, everybody needs to feel that. You just, the feeling of somebody at any time just walking away from a commitment is just a horrible feeling. So knowing that somebody's all in, knowing somebody they're not going anywhere is important. I'm thinking of you. I like that. And then I'm going to put this with the moving, moving on because this feels toxic to me. This feels like I was trapped. I, they, this is also coming into me as they only saw me for my money, this golden apple that maybe somebody, you, they felt trapped because this person wanted them in their life for their money or because they quote unquote needed them. So I feel like there's some resentment here also with somebody's past, but everything happens for a reason. Keep that in mind. 
I have uh, still hoping. You could have somebody that's wishing, okay, wishing, wishing that things were different. And no words, no words can express. I'm going to take that as positive because it could be that I'm so in love with you. I don't even know how to how to say it. You know, it, it's just, I can say I love you, but you feel like it's even deeper than that. So it's somebody gushing. <laughs> I don't know how to describe gushing. I haven't heard that word in a long time. These are real feelings. So that's what I want to focus on. I want to focus on, yeah, sometimes we have to move on from somebody that you feel like is holding you captive in a way and move forward. And, and then Sometimes we get really, really lucky. And when we move forward, we find the one who we're really supposed to be with. So real feelings and a commitment. I mean, that sounds good to me. Let's see. Let's see what else they have for you today. Spirit, please share with me. They're saying nobody else compares to you. So obviously they've made up their mind and this is a very emotional time they're saying it's a very emotional time of year for some reason as well it could be a loss of a loved one passed away at this time of year it could be just everything is is uh very pretty and we're doing holiday things we're grateful to be together there could be a lot of gratitude but i, I just feel overly emotional right now for some reason because you're falling in love, Spirit said. A three of wands, three of wands, beautiful. I have a death card. I have a sun. And I have a seven of wands. This three of wands came into me. As you can see, she's facing forward, but this checker pattern came into me as a checkered past that somebody that you were connected to had a checkered past. They had a um, very toxic past or they had problems with drugs or alcohol, even um, criminal money. Um, but it was like a checkered pa past that just kept interfering in this connection. So it, it feels to me that I had no choice but to look ahead. I had no choice but to see what my next move was with these chess pieces. So I, I just feel like you made the right choice. You know, this death card, you ended it. And I always love when spirit puts my death card next to my, my son because it's it's just so crystal clear to me that, you know, for every ending, there's a new beginning. And I think a lot of us go through this. I think a lot of us struggle with what's going to be on the other side when we're ending something, but we have no choice but to move on. And that checkered past keeps keeps rearing its ugly head. And I feel like I kept defending myself. I kept standing up for myself. Um, it, it was just too hard or too big of a fight. I didn't want to fight it anymore. Sometimes you just get tired of, of fighting and tired of, of trying. You just get exhausted um, when it's not the right person. It shouldn't be that hard, Spirit saying. Tell me more about the sun spirit, this new beginning. What is it that you want me to know? These real feelings. I have a uh, nine of pentacles. Ten of cups. Look at that beautiful card. I have a judgment. And I have an ace of pentacles. Look at this beautiful energy. This came into me as you know the difference between right and wrong is how it came into me. You know what's right for you and you know what's wrong for you. So I wouldn't question anything as far as I keep making the wrong choice or I keep picking the wrong person. You do know the difference between right and wrong. And then this gorgeous ace of pentacles, these magical slippers, you know, these, these Cinderella shoes or or. Dorothy's little um, shoes that she clicks her heels together. So here's this beautiful gem 
here is this shining, it's almost like a shining star, you outshine everybody, but you do know the difference between right and wrong, and you are going to, this feels like I'm going to slay the dragons, you know, that that prevent me from being happy, I'm, I'm not going to allow that that uh, negative toxic energy into my life, I've, I have to um, keep picking a better choice because what's ahead of me is this beautiful Ten of Cups. We're off to see the wizard, right, with the beautiful rainbow in the background. And you can see the path is very clear heading towards that castle and that rainbow. Um, so there's this happiness if I just stay on that path. And it's all around the sense of I believe in myself and I'm strong and I'm I'm moving forward. But what really jumped out at me was the the judgment with, yeah, here's the bottom of my deck is the fool. So I feel like I'm I'm not afraid of this journey. I'm not. I I believe in it. And for many of you, it's I'm excited about it. It, it could be that you know, for the first time in a long time, I'm actually really welcoming in new energy. I'm, I'm thrilled about what potential spirit has for me. I can't wait to start this new journey. Spirit said, you know, a new journey in the new year. Um, so we could be heading into the new year with this new journey. Um, and, you know, that, that opens up a whole door of possibilities, like a whole year ahead of us of, of some kind of new commitment, new love. Let's grab a couple of initials. Don't worry if you don't see your person's initials. I just like to do these every once in a while. And sometimes we get lucky. We see your initials, their initials, somebody coming. Let's see what they want to share with me today. I have the letter K. I have an A. A, Q, let's see, these are stuck together, I have an R, I have a P, F, N, and let's get two more, letter L today and a letter V. So those could have meaning to some of you. And again, don't worry about it if if you're not seeing your person. Spirit, tell me, tell me more about this divine love. The love is overflowing and a journey, a committed journey into the new year. I mean, <laughs> I'll take that. Okay. I have Santa. What do you what do you want from Santa? Is this your wish? Make a wish. It's a little bit of, yeah, that's on my list. <laughs> that's on my list. It's, it is a committed, uh, committed relationship into the new year on your on your Christmas list. I have the hearth. I like the two, I always like the two stockings, like side by side. And of course, the warmth that is coming into me as a fire sign, possibly. Uh, they're saying earth signs are big in this reading as well. So that could be going on around you. I have beautiful blue angels, your angels. We have some numbers, the number 1, 20, 28. Beautiful angels guiding you, lost loved ones. Maybe that's why you're really emotional right now. Just thinking about somebody in particular. So it's, it, I feel very, very emotional today for, for you. So there could be something going on. I have toys, but a little bit of a treasure chest, a, a treasure box. Like what's going to be inside? I, I want to open the box, number 12. I want to open the box and I want to see what's inside. So it could be somebody that's just so excited to get to know you and they kind of have that playful energy of like everything's fun because everything is exciting and new. So they could have this kind of childlike energy initially and, and it could be very charming, they're saying. Spirit, please share with me. What is it you need me to, to know today? I have a four of cups. I have a seven of cups. I have an eight of pentacles and I have an ace of swords. This came in pretty crystal clear to me as 
I am going to wait for the right one to come along. There's a lot of people out there. Um, I don't have to settle. I'll throw myself into another area of my life, work, hobbies, home, kids, um, as long as I'm seeking what's my truth. So there's not any one person out there. You know, if you get hung up on one person and you can't get them out of your mind for months or years, uh, there's a lot of people in this universe and we have the capacity to love a lot of different people in, in different ways. So don't, you know, there's not any one person, like they're the only person on the face of the earth. So spirit could just be saying, yeah, okay, we understand. We want you to wait. There's options out there. Throw yourself into something else if you're waiting and then just be truthful to yourself with, with what it is that you really want. And I, and I, I do believe that a lot of you know that already. Sometimes we just need to be reminded. And let's see what else they have. I have a five of wands. I have a four of wands. I have a page of pentacles. And I have a four of swords. This is coming into me as rest your mind. Okay, just this feeling of I'm struggling right now with, is it the right one or will I find the right one? I'm struggling with, I keep meeting uh, people that I really don't want to be with. This is, I feel like this is just how I'm talking to myself. So I, I want you to just rest your mind and put your faith in God, put your faith in spirit that they have somebody that's coming into you as somebody new, somebody to spend time with you, and somebody that wants to spend, uh, have a committed love. So if this isn't here right now, that's okay. It just means it hasn't happened yet. But look at this joyful beginning is how they just said it. it it's so it's such a celebration. It's so joyful. Look at he's like jumping. <laughs> he's like jumping in midair. He's so happy. Um, so a joyful, a joyful beginning. And that's all we can that's all we can hope for that's all that's all we can you know beg beg spirit for or manifest or be grateful for um that it's just filled with joy it, it's just filled with happiness it's just filled with that playful childlike energy that we are all craving and you do deserve that spirit just said I have, this is an extra card in this deck, the happy narwhal. He does look happy, doesn't he? He's got a nice little smile on his face and this little guy's kind of cheering him on. So the number 23, maybe the number 23 is significant. I have a 10 of cups. That just came into me as ringing in the new year. He's literally ringing a bell. Keep your eyes and ears open for these kinds of bells, the, you know, the person who shakes the bell outside the grocery store for um, the red kettle, um, the uh, church bells even, but listen, listen for the bells. Maybe it's just a, a sign that something's about to open up or is coming your way or confirmation. And I have a king of pentacles, a sense of security. Absolutely. I also like this little wand this little star wand it's a little bit of a wave your magic wand and make it happen so i really like that i like all the gifts I, i'm just going to put that in the category of this love is a gift and i also like out of all this snow um look at these little spring flowers are blooming so it's kind of like out of nowhere comes this growth comes this um, spring bloom, you know, out of the cold, out of the, um, you know, out of the winter, you know, it, it comes like these shouldn't be blooming. It's like Christmas, Christmas everywhere and snow on the ground. So maybe there was like a really warm day and, and these spring flowers bloomed too early, but maybe it, it's spirit's way of saying that, you know, transitioning between winter and spring um, this love is going to bloom one more bottom of the deck i'm going to take two more ace of wands ace of wands and king of wands this is a passion for you i i don't know how to describe it any other way 
that somebody, I, I even like that his eyeballs, the way his eyeballs are popping out of his head. And it's just this feeling of, I can't take my eyes off of you. I have a tremendous passion for you. So uh, the, I don't think you're going to, I don't think you're going to question this person from gushy to, I can't take my eyes off of you. Um, it's, you are going to be know that this person is totally into you. So we, we want that. Let, let's see what some loving messages are. Uh, I think you've got definitely, what did they say? A journey into the new year, a journey, a joyful beginning. How beautiful. And I have, you feel like the sweetest home I've ever known. I feel at home with you. How do I get you alone? I'm very attracted to you. I want to be with you. I want to spend the night with you. You are my star who outshines all others. That feeling of wave your magic wand and you leave me breathless and without words. I love breathless. You take my breath away. So we have a really passionate love. We have somebody who's crazy about you and we're going to put this out into the universe. And if this hasn't arrived, keep manifesting, keep asking spirit to bring you this kind of love. If this is in your life, obviously, congratulations. <laughs> it's a beautiful love and just claim it, own it. It's yours. We will put this out into the universe now for all of you. I want to thank spirit for these messages. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for your kind words. If anyone would like to book a private reading with me, please check out my website at kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.